So, we have already discussed about the partial equilibrium analysis of tariff, in which we considered only the market of the protected sector. But now, we, what will happen to the other sector also? So, to find out this, we have to use the general equilibrium analysis of tariff with the consider of pre-tariff pre and post-tariff production and consumption equilibrium of a country. So let's consider the easiest case, a two country, two commodity case. So in two commodity case, let us consider that this is the production possibilities curve of the country which is given as A. In horizontal axis we measure X, in vertical axis we measure Y. So, so now first let us consider the pre-tariff production and consumption equilibrium of the country. So small p1 is our international terms of trade. So slope of p1 equals to international terms of trade right now. So let us consider. So before imposition of tariff, we consider p0 is the point of equilibrium. So before imposition of tariff, P0 was the post-trade production point or free trade production point of the country. This trade line P1 becomes the consumption possibility locus and I0 is the indifference curve, E0 is the international consumption, is consumption equilibrium after trade. So, we know that this will be the volume of trade before in this situation the country produces OX0 units of X and consume OX1 units of Y but produces Y0 units of X and Y1 units of Y. So, we can say at this time this is the export of X and this is the import of Y. Now, let us consider that the country products the sector Y, that means tariff on Y. So, whenever the there is an impose, the country is imposing a tariff on Y, there will be no change in the international prices. But definitely the domestic consumers will have to face that protective price P y equals to let us say 1 plus T. So this is the price which will be imposed on the domestic market due to imposition of tariff. So after imposition of tariff this becomes the price. So what we will see definitely in domestic market P x by P y form which will be represented by a flatter straight line P1 star. So if this is the new price ratio faced by the country, not international terms of trade, we have to remember that this country is a small open economy and in the international market it is playing the role of a price taker. So even if it changes its price, it will have no impact on the international price of Y. But obviously the price of Y will increase in the domestic market. That is represented by the curve. So what we will see, new production point will be P1. So from here, we can easily find out there is a shift in the resources. The resources are being transferred from 
sector some of the resources are being transferred from sector X to sector Y. That means after imposition of tariff, the production of X will decline and production of Y will increase. The country will produce at this point. So we can write here that X1 star is the production of after tariff production of X and Y1 star is the after tariff production of Y. Now, next question comes what will be the post tariff consumption point on the country? So, if we consider this is the production point and so so this is the slope of P1 dash and P1 dash is exactly parallel to P1. So that means slope of this P1 dash indicates the international dam subtrade. What do you mean? So what will be the new equilibrium point? Remember that if even if after the changing the production, if the exchange is allowed at international terms of trade, we can get this could be the consumption equilibrium on I0 dash in difference. But in this case, even this will not be the consumption equilibrium. Why? Because though from international market, we purchase the price that arms of trade is TOT. Domestic market faces a different terms of trade, which is represented by the straight line, which is parallel to so P1 star star. The slope of P1 star star and slope of P1 star star and P1 star are same. That means this is also this straight line also in the slope of this straight line indicates the domestic terms of trade, domestic price ratio after imposition of tariff. So equilibrium will be attained at this point when both when P1 dash and P1 double star they are intersecting each other. So this will be the consumption equilibrium of the country. Next point. So what we see? Now let us consider what is the trade effect. So now we will see that after tariff consumption of Y is Y1 star sorry, consumption of X. If this is the consumption of X, it will be X1 star star and consumption of Y will be Y1 star star. So this is the production of Y, this is the consumption of Y. So this will be the import on X, import of Y and this is the post tariff production of Y and this is the post tariff consumption of Y. So this will be the export of tariff, export of X after imposition of tariff. So initially, if we consider the initially the trade triangle, this was the volume of export of X. Now this becomes the volume of export of X. And before imposition of tariff, this was the volume of the import of Y. Now, this is the volume of import of Y. So, what do we see? The volume of import shrinks, the volume of export also, the volume of import shrinks, the volume of export also shrinks. So, this is the trade effect of tariff. And number three, what is the price effect? What is the revenue effect? The so see point P1 dash, let us give this point P1. So point P1 and E1. P1 is on the lower price line and so this is this price line indicates the value of P1. This is at this point we find the value of domestic production at factor price, at factor cost and if we consider E1, E1 is on the higher line that means E1 is the domestic value of domestic production at 
market prices. So difference between market prices and capital cost, this indicates the tariff revenue of the government. And finally, the welfare effect. Initially, the economy was on higher, well, higher line. So initially, the economy was on the higher indifference curve, I0. Now, the economy falls to the lower indifference curve, I1. So this is the movement from E0 dash E0 to E1. This movement indicates the decline in welfare level of the country, which we call the deadweight loss of tariff or the cost of social distortion.